Hey there, I'm Jaron with the Urban Aviary YouTube channel, home of Practical Backyard Agriculture and the Urban Quailer series, where we teach you from A to Z how to become an urban quail farmer and how you can get everything you need to get started shipped right to your home. One of the first things you need to have established is your caging. And Wynola is without a doubt the resource for quality and affordable pre-built quail caging systems on the market today. In this video, we will unbox, assemble, and review one of these caging systems from Wynola Ranch to give you a first-hand look at the quality they put into their products and packing and at the ease of assembly. So let's get started. So this particular unit came in two boxes because it's a double rack system. I'm very impressed with the lengths they went to to make sure the box stayed together. They put these heavy-duty bands on and there are several heavy-duty staples underneath that strip of tape. The tape itself actually has woven fibers in it as well, which makes it super strong. Those heavy-duty bands are holding the stand pieces to the cage too, along with the shrink wrap. This is really cool what they've done here by labeling all the joints and connections. LBB is for left, back, bottom. These are the two pieces of the back strap, which are also labeled. And this is the front strap with the corresponding hardware tape to it. And here's just a quick overall look at the cage and at the excrement tray. which is very sturdy by the way. Here's a quick look at the drinkers. We'll get those plumbed into a reservoir in the next video. Then we'll open up the next box, which is packed just as well as the first one was. This is where the front strap attaches on one side and the sticker below is the left front bottom. And here's a list of simple instructions, a key for the acronyms, and a checklist of parts. All you need is a 7mm and 11mm wrench or socket and ratchet and a Phillips screwdriver. The hardware to attach the cages to the frame are taped to the tray there, as well as some of these leg bands for quail to mark your birds. I also threw in these uh, awesome peacock feathers as well. Here's a look at the floor, which is PVC wire, which will last a lot longer and be much easier on the bird's feet. The one inch by half inch is much better on their feet than any other wire pattern. The feeders are made of steel, so they won't rot and crack in the sun over time like the plastic trays on the market will. This feature is awesome. There's a cushion at the bottom of the tray to keep eggs from breaking when they reach that bottom lip. I love that feature. Cages are clearly labeled, so you know which is the upper cage and which is the lower cage. These are all the frame pieces laid out. And these are the two back strap pieces. You can see that everything is labeled as to where everything connects. LFB for left front bottom, RBB for right back bottom. These couplings are color coded so it's easy to see which joints connect. Here is the front strap which is also conveniently color-coded to match with the proper fitment spot. I'm just cutting these back strap pieces apart here so you can see them individually. Here's a little better look at the connection couplings and the two screws that are used to secure it. Now it's just matching the color pieces to connect the couplings with the frame pieces. You'll want to loosen up the coupling screws before you start fitting them together though, and don't tighten them down until the very end.
Once you've got that side put together, go ahead and do the same with the other side, which is marked with red and green stickers rather than red and orange. Then take the front strap and the four attached screws and attach it to the corresponding frame piece with the same color code where it's labeled front strap. It's a lot easier to get the screw started using a 7mm socket. Once each side is attached, you'll be able to stand the frame up. Don't do what I did here though and tighten the screws all the way down. Wait until everything else is assembled before tightening everything. Here's the two pieces that create the back strap. So go ahead and get it put together and screw the couplings down tight on this one. These two longer screws are the ones you'll need to attach the back strap to the frame. There are two pre-drilled holes here to attach it. You will then insert cage number two, which is the bottom cage. and use these bolts to secure it to the frame through the corresponding pre-drilled holes. This hole is elongated on each side of the cage to adjust the grade of the slope for the eggs. And these here are the holes on the frame that it will attach to. You will have to reach inside the cage to access the bolts to get them tight. But again, wait until the very end to do this. Then go ahead and take the top cage and do the same as you did with the bottom. Go ahead and install your trays. The top tray will sit on the top of the bottom cage. Then you'll be able to put your feeder trays on. There you have it guys. Wynola takes great pride in their products, which is obvious from the extra mile they go in packaging their products before shipping them. They are clearly designed to be user friendly to assemble, simple but functional and high quality. And the guys over at Wynola are always there to help you if you have questions while setting up your cages. If you're in the market to start raising quail, then I highly recommend these caging systems to you. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out all the products that Wynola has to offer. And go check out the Urban Aviary YouTube channel for help on your quailing journey. And until then, remember, you guys can do this too.